Howdy chaps and welcome back to another fantastic episode and it's a short one it's more of a an update of what we've been up to and uh, yeah so this week's a bit of a wipeout we've only just moved in to the shop on Monday it's now Thursday and it's just been wiped out due to uh, organizing things missing we've gotten work done like tons of work in this um, Landau we've got the uh, yeah, yeah, XW is on a rotisserie that had some work done and the coupe that's way up the background that's actually going home to the owner for some storage otherwise it'll just, it's just taking up space because we won't be able to get to it for a while we've got a pretty full-on schedule believe it or not uh, so I will show you what we've been up to So a good portion of this week has been trying to find stuff and organizing stuff. Now you might notice that I've put my engine test stand up there, which if you're wondering if that was difficult to put up there, that was incredibly difficult to put up there. But that thing is such an enormous item, but it's super useful. It just takes up an absolute insane amount of space. So that's now atop the toilet. Uh, we've been trying to find stuff left, right and center. It's just been inc incredibly difficult. I have been organizing about a monumental amount of nuts, bolts, screws and clips. I've got anything that's in a kit, uh, anything that's air powered, anything that's electrical powered and some minor car parts as well as shrinker stretcher, folder, shears and all that stuff. So we've just been putting, and I've been up there putting a ton of stuff up there and cars have moved. Those two are shimmied down and across there and the floor is looking pretty good. And so is this, this has made some huge progress. Uh, yeah, and we've spoken to the owner and we will be redoing uh, <laughs> a bit of it. And I did actually find my piece I made ages ago, which might find its way into there. So we'll wander over here, these are Peter's guards. Looking pretty flash. Not perfect, I will admit. Probably will need a little bit of filler through here, but not an insane amount. And actually filed up pretty good. I just think that style line's just a bit soft through there, so I may just put a little bit of filler just on that edge just to sharpen it up, but I got the worst of the dents out of it. And the one that was in this guard is nearly gone. That's only been roughed out, but that's, about 50% gone I mean if you're gonna put filler in it that's probably fine but I want it better than that still a mess of stuff on the floor uh, I'm gonna get into this ute very very shortly very shortly and uh, you saw that there was some progress made here we've now got some bits folded up fairly hefty steel and this is gonna go in there that's the inner torque box yeah, that's pretty hefty steel it's at least I'm pretty sure factory it's two and a half mil and I didn't feel it necessary to remove the whole piece because well first off you'd probably have to take the floor out to be able to weld those guys back in comfortably and there's nothing wrong with the floor pan so there's absolutely no reason to remove it and plus there was no pitting through there that's all perfect so I'm going to put a piece in here and get that out because that bothers me and have a bit of a sass of here because that's a bit dimpled but not too bad so I will get this piece in on the XW and then we can put the new piece up here so it's all coming coming together now this is going home We've done a ton of work to it, but unfortunately the schedule's played out, which means we can't always get to them, and they will sit for a bit of time between stages on them. So on this so far, we've bare metal the bonnet, the guards, the doors, quarter panels, roof, boot lid. Actually, we've done most of it, actually. I think we might have bare metal all of it. And it was Epitech, so anything in Epitech uh, has just been bare metal and copied and coated and this has had some bodywork done. Yep, that's a blob of water. Thought it was a bubble, it's not. And we put in the front half of the parcel shelf, all these bits in here, 
boot lids back on temporarily. And it was short in one of the videos we did a section boot channel through here, and we've done the lower thing, uh, wheel arch, but we've still got that dog leg section there to go, and that's the last of the major repairs. And some of the boot channel, that's it. So the XD is just resting for a while. We will get back into that very shortly. And of course, business-wise, I did manage to paint the feature wall. Flash. So, Monday we had a disaster. We walked into a disaster of just everything being just thrown in here. And by later in the week, we've actually got a fair amount of space to play with now. So, yeah, this is just going to be a little uh, video to tie you over for now. And next week I'll get back into because tomorrow we'll probably have finished getting all the bog off this. And I'll be super happy about that because it's made this entire shop filthy. I've actually mopped all of that floor there, especially when those two cars went there. Um, and we vacuumed regularly. And yet there's still bog dust everywhere. And that's, if you're wondering what that is, that's just a reminder to remind me to only do paint mixing there and Peter's paint it's in a pink tin but yes it did turn up and in perfect condition so thank you Australia Post it's pretty good and this car is likely to have uh, we'll do two weeks we'll do some rust repairs get the bog off get it netched like and look pretty and then we're going to strip it off with all panels and send the body shell itself off to be blasted which will get rid of the insane amount of surface rust that's it's hard to see but it's all over everywhere because it's been there for ages plus it'll allow us to have a nice clean slate and it'll get the sandblasting will get all the junk out from up in all these channels and across here and in the plenum chamber and across the top and it'll make the floor panel beautiful and if I can open this door here Oh, grasshopper. Um, we'll be able to get all these areas done too, which will be awesome because that's covered in surface rust. And yeah, it just, it's just easy to have all the nook and, nooks and crannies blasted, especially up in here. And that'll be good to see how bad that is. It'll just be easier. We won't get them to blast any of the large flat areas because that's basically suicide for a panel unless it's lovely and I mean like look at that that's just caked in surface rust so that's what we're gonna um, get it blasted so bare metal take the panels off and um, etch this just like that and then get all the other areas blasted and then we'll have a nice clean slate where we can work forward from there and hopefully it'll be something like that and I actually half think if I actually had some money we'd be really cool to put this on a rotisserie as well because that would make it 40 times easier to do a better job but that'll just depend on how much money I have personally and yes so <laughs> dig out the bog there's a hole in the quarter panel get down a bit further and it's just special I couldn't understand for the life of me why whoops we're going to be a bit funny angle here why there was bog down here um, because this is a, a, a rustery panel and it doesn't need bog. I mean, I can understand bog being from this style line up, but it doesn't need to be down here. You don't have to put any in it. So I can't figure out for the life of me why it was so thick. So, yes, it would be. And this is overlapped quite extensively, so um, we'll have to figure it out whether or not we just buy um, an $80 piece and trim it off and do it again and join it further up and get rid of all the yuckiness or we just try and fix that we just have to do some creative thinking that's all uh, I do want it to be of the highest quality if that makes sense and then it just gets better as you go along so yeah it's all fun and games and um, it would appear that my father is not very good with the old rattle cans <laughs> but it is what it is and this was fun isn't it I don't quite know what's going on I'm pretty sure that's a gasless MIG 
and I mean I used to use one years ago um, but I never had those issues so either it either that well potentially that is a MIG with the gas turned off I don't know it's very porous welds so I'll probably have to well there was rust along this seam so I'll probably take this panel out peel up the roof take this out put a fresh piece on the end of it weld in properly and redo that as well so and some good stuff going along here on the uh, blue landau which used to be a white landau the one that I did ages ago before I started filming I actually ended up putting a huge piece that ran down and around and went up through here because that one was about 40 times worse than this land here. Because you, sometimes you get stuck, you're just not sure what you're going to do about excessive pitting. Best thing to do is really remove it. So we're just trying to recover this car and get it moving forward and actually get it done. And, um, you know, give the customer the best possible job known to man. And I always try and give everybody the best I can. So that's where we're up to. It may not be the most exciting video, um, but if you've joined me from Peter Anderson, thank you. Um, in theory, you'll like it. If not, oh well. <laughs> um, but yes, that's where we're up to. He's pretty actually very happy with how these guards are coming out, and I will cut out. It actually really shows how big that warpage is in there, doesn't it? I will cut that out and redo it. It bothers me and zap that up and there's a little dent here I'll get out so yeah that's where we're at to and um thanks for watching